Base beat, the insight you need. Unexpected power cuts in northeastern China have triggered concerns about energy shortages in China and a possible spillover effect on global supply chains. There has been some turbulence with regard to energy supplies in the country. 20 provinces have implemented power curbs since mid-August, including the manufacturing hubs of Guangdong, Zhejiang, and Jiangsu, putting pressure on company earnings. Leading brokerages such as Goldman Sachs and Nomura have revised down their expectations for China's full-year economic growth after the power outages. But there was no need to be pessimistic. Part of the current problem has been triggered by coal shortages, coupled with the surging demand of Chinese manufacturers rushing to meet overseas demand, as many countries are still grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic. From a broader perspective, the current shortages are part of China's resolute efforts to reduce its carbon footprint. China pledged to reach carbon peak by 2030 and carbon neutrality by 2060. This was not just empty talk. The country has embarked on a green transition of its economy. It has imposed dual controls on energy consumption and energy intensity. This is a compulsory target, meaning each province needs to crack down on energy-intensive enterprises and foster a cleaner, more sustainable growth pattern. As far as current shortages are concerned, China has enough resources at its disposal to overcome the situation. The State Grid Corporation of China, the country's leading power distributor, said it would take comprehensive measures to avoid power cuts. The company said it would go all out to ensure adequate power supply for people's basic needs and safeguard social development and energy security. Analysts say the country installed power generation capacity stands at 2.28 billion kilowatts, twice that of the U.S., while its GDP is about 70% that of the U.S., meaning it has enough leeway to improve overall efficiency and optimize the power structure. There is no doubt that the country will use the current situation to optimally use its electricity resources, further restrict high polluting industries, and use market mechanisms such as carbon trading to reward innovation. The current power outages are not a crisis, but a reminder of the challenges in green transitioning and the urgent need for society and the economy to bid farewell to an era of extensive energy consumption and rationalized electricity use. There is bound to be some short-term pains, but it is worthwhile for long-term high-quality growth.